looking to live stream on Instagram from your computer. In this video, I'll walk you through how to do it step by step. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed entrepreneurs streamline their social media strategy so you can get more results, more profit with less work. If that sounds like something you'd like in your business, wouldn't we all? Take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to stream live on Instagram, but instead of doing it from your phone, we can now do it from our computer, all right? Let me share my screen and we'll walk through step by step. Now, heads up, it's a couple of extra steps to go live on Instagram from your computer. Like it's not quite as simple as on the phone and you do have to use another tool as part of it. But once you know this routine, super simple and I'm gonna walk you through the entire thing. So first thing, I'm just in Instagram on a browser here. So I'm on my profile and over here on the left, I'm gonna click create and then I'm gonna click live video. Now I believe as of this recording, everybody has this ability to go live from your computer. If you don't see live video here, then you may not have this yet. So I'm gonna click live video. And then this first pop-up box is going to tell us that we need to add some details. So first thing is give your video a title. So I'm just gonna call it Instagram Live from Computer. And then down below that, I'm gonna click Audience. And you have the ability to just do a practice. And if you haven't done this before, I would make sure everything's working right and I would choose practice. But I'm gonna go ahead and choose Public. Then I'm gonna hit Next. This next screen here is giving us all the information we need to connect it to another tool. So essentially you are streaming live on Instagram, but you do need another tool. And I'll show you what I use, but I've linked to a few different options, including free options in the description of this video. So I use a tool called StreamYard. There's also a link to that. And I love this tool because I can go live to YouTube and Facebook and LinkedIn and now Instagram all at the same time. But right now we're just gonna walk through how to do it to go live on Instagram. This will be similar to whatever streaming software that you are using to connect. So I'm gonna hit create, and then I'm gonna choose live stream. And then down here, I'm gonna choose add a new destination. And I'm gonna choose custom RTMP. Don't be intimidated by that. If you don't know what that is, I don't know what it stands for either. Just choose it in whatever your software is. Like I said, I'm using StreamYard. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to give the information that we want them to stream to, and that is what Instagram was giving us on this page. So it says stream URL, I'm gonna copy that, come over here, they call it the RTMP server URL, but same thing. And we're gonna go ahead and paste that in. And then they also need the stream key, which is this other weird string of characters that Instagram gives us. I'm gonna copy that, come back over here, paste it in. And then you can give it a nickname. This is just to kind of help you know what it is later. So I'm gonna call it Instagram RTMP. Click add RTMP server. Now this is creating the live stream and there is a title box here. And if you were streaming to YouTube or Facebook or some of these other ones, it would use the title. But since you're just streaming to this custom destination as they call it, which is that RTMP thing, whatever letter those orders were in, the title doesn't really matter. You can literally put in whatever, if you want. So we're gonna hit create broadcast. On this screen, StreamYard lets you make sure you've got the right camera and microphone and everything connected. So you can just hit enter studio when you're ready. And now I'm in the studio as StreamYard calls it. Your tool, if you're using something different, might call it something else. But here I am, I'm not live yet. But the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click go live, but I'm still not gonna be live, okay? So don't get nervous when you click this here in StreamYard. Now, a heads up. If you are streaming in a tool like this or in StreamYard to multiple destinations, so if I was going live to YouTube and LinkedIn as well, then I would go live on those other platforms. So if you're trying to go live everywhere, you just have to do this next part really quick. I would definitely suggest doing just Instagram first so you can get a feel up for it. So I'm here and uh, I'm just going live on Instagram and I'm gonna go ahead and click go live. There's a little standby screen there check your settings. And now this software, StreamYard, is going to start streaming. And now here in Instagram, we're seeing a preview of the stream. We are not live on Instagram yet. And by the way, the reason my mouth is not matching the words that you're hearing is because there is a slight delay between when I start streaming and when it actually gets to Instagram. So don't panic about that. And hopefully don't get distracted by it. I know it's weird when the sound doesn't sync up in a video. Now, when you click go live, the blue letters in the upper right corner of this pop-up window, then you will go live on Instagram. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So I'm live here on Instagram testing this right now. And for people that are coming in live, I'm just doing a, a test going live on Instagram from my computer for a new tutorial that will be coming out here shortly. But you can see uh, Rose hopped in there. Hi, Rose. And then it shows you how many people are watching right there at the top. Your comments. And then this other tab is the event log. So it just kind of shows you status of things. You know, when you started, I assume if there are errors, which I haven't run into yet, uh, would show up there. There's some other statistics down here if you want to geek out uh, over that. But this is what that looks like on your computer. Now, I wanna show you what it looks like on the phone. One thing you will notice is that over here in StreamYard, I am obviously on a webcam that's a widescreen webcam, so I've got all of this space, but it gets cropped for Instagram, and so when you're watching on this screen, I'm, you know, it's basically chopping off the side, so I wanna stay in the middle. This is what it looks like on Instagram to somebody that's watching. So obviously you can't see anything outside of just that center part. You can't see anything on either side of my head, basically, right? Because Instagram is a vertical format when you are streaming live like this. So back here in my streaming software, obviously it's got this big wide screen. If I shared slides, um, you know, you can show slides and everything like that. But anything you put on the screen, even like some tools have like a banner tool, where you can add a, a banner at the bottom that will get cropped off when you're streaming on Instagram. So you just want to keep everything in the center. And then once you're done streaming, all you have to do is click the end live video, the red up here in the corner, nice and easy to see. Hit that. And then it will, doesn't give you a prompt, by the way. It doesn't say, hey, are you sure? It just ends it. So when you're ready, hit that. You can go back to your streaming software. It may have its own place where you can end it as well. Um, and uh, that's it. You're done with your Instagram Live. Final step here, it'll say, hey, do you want to keep this video or discard it? If you want to download it, you need to go to your Instagram app on your phone and go to your archive and you can download it there. Otherwise, hit discard video. It'll give you a prompt, say, are you sure? I'm sure. And just like that, it's gone. And that is the basics of how you stream to Instagram from your computer. Uh, like I said, I'll link to a few different tools you can use to connect to Instagram to do that. Um, that's how it works when it works, if you're having trouble, then definitely contact the company that you're streaming to, because uh, I do not know all the platforms and nor am I uh, tech support. I, do, I can tell you StreamYard has really good tech support if you want to try them out, all right? Was this video helpful? Would you like more social media tips to market your business? If so, if you're an entrepreneur, find these really helpful. Thousands of people have signed up to get my tips at dailysocialmediatips.com, delivered for free straight to your inbox. The moment they're not helpful, you can quickly unsubscribe, but most entrepreneurs find them very, very helpful, sometimes motivational, and uh, some good tutorials in there as well. So you can sign up at dailysocialmediatips.com. And if this video was helpful, make sure to give this video a like or leave me a comment. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.